Hey Max, it's Rob Bowser. I just want to thank you for uh, coming yesterday. It was a pleasure working with you. I wanted to go through a couple of those stretches just so that you have them. I know we went through quite a few, so um, we'll kind of go through them one by one. Each of the stretches, it should you should kind of feel kind of a gentle stretch, and I would hold them for anywhere between five to ten breaths um, as you do it. So we'll start with our version of the stretching pole, but you know. Just put both hands on top, try to keep your arms straight, and just let your head hang through as best as you can. You want to keep your ankles on top of your hips, so you don't want to look like, like this as you're doing that. So try to keep your ankles right on top of your hips, and just let your head hang through. Then what I would do is with the pole in the center, put your left hand on top for a back, or put your left hand on first and make a back swing. Where you just feel that gentle stretch. So I feel that in my tricep and in my shoulder, replicating a backswing. And then I do it with my right hand on first, and I do it for, for the forward swing. And just hold that. The other stretches I would do is I just use the pole to stretch. You know, you talked about how you're barrel chested, and just kind of take that pole and work it behind you as far as you can. Just hold it and breathe. Do that on both sides. Um, the other stretches, and this is where you'll be on the ground for these, but you get down on the ground and just kind of with your arms like a cactus, you try to have your elbows, you try to have the back, the top side of your forearm and the back side of your hand flush, so my back's flat, and I'm trying to kind of push my arms downward into the mat there as I, as I do that stretch. You know, for you where there's some resistance, you could add a light dumbbell, two, two, three pound dumbbell to your hands to help kind of move your arms closer to the ground. In addition to that, I would do it hands straight overhead and try to have the thumbs touch as you do it. When you do this, try to keep your lower back flat to the mat, flush to the mat, and just try to have your hands touch. Again, a light dumbbell will help you to do that, to do that stretch. Um, a couple other stretches that I like just in warm up. You take your left arm and you grab kind of that watch, you grab the underside, and you just practice making back swings. I'll show you from here. And all I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to pull my left arm further back. Make sure when you do that stretch, you stay bent over so you maintain your spine angle as you do that stretch. In addition to that, when you do that stretch, try to make sure your head's not pulled off the ball as you go back. So this would be not a good rep. You know, so stand here, try to get that arm as far back as you can, and hold again for a couple breaths. Okay? All right, Max, thanks a lot.